What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Unfit Yellow Rock here, giving you guys some Modern Warfare 2 TDM on Karachi. Yeah, I'm rocking the Scar H Slider Fan Stop Your Parent Ninja. You all know that. Um, with FMJ, and usually when I before I get into the real topic of this commentary, usually when I play Karachi, I'm usually rocking an, an assault rifle, and usually it's a Scar H because it has. You know the damage it has the um especially with fmj since a lot of this is breakable and i i guess when i was playing this game i was trying to get um extended mags but i want to specific some way, something um on the gun that you guys probably you know well you guys can't see it but you guys probably don't know what it's called but it's red tiger i got red tiger on this gun you guys are probably wondering like, hmm i'm fit you got this game two months ago and how do you get red tiger and you guys i'm gonna admit it i'm a booster all right, I come out here to say, you guys, that I am a bare bones pro booster. I boost in bare bones for players, not every day, but sometimes, so I can get my camels. And wanted to, um, you know, go into the fence of the booster's point of view of why there's nothing, really, nothing, nothing wrong with boosting. All right, so let, let me give you guys the deets on boosting. Really, in the community, boosters are pieces of shit, low lives who, you know, jump into a free for all and boost, but. There's another, there's a playlist that actually, you know, promotes boosting, and that is Bare Bones Pro. What Bare Bones Pro is, is basically a, a playlist that, you know, it accepts party invites, and it goes through the two game modes, um, TDM and Free For All. So, you're probably wondering, oh, I could just get in a party of four or five or six if you get six people. That's amazing. Um, you could go into Bare Bones and boost, basically, with the tactical insertion and headshot. So I want to talk about why there's nothing wrong with boosting. All right, who's it? Who it is? Yeah. <laughs> who? Um, what is boosting? Who is boosting hurting? Really? Come on, you guys. Like honestly, I am tired of hearing the same thing. Like with Black Ops and them trying to, you know, putting the report system on boosting. Really, there is absolutely nothing wrong with boosting. Oh, boosting, you know, trying to get camo. Really, there is absolutely nothing wrong. I'm going to admit here that I'm a booster, you guys. I boost for, you know, red tiger camos, blue tiger camos, for all the camos, right? I don't really care. You know what? Because, honestly, I'm honest enough to tell, like, you know, the whole community that I'm a booster. But I know, you know, the effects that it can happen on people. You know, some people, they hate it. They think it's shitty. You know, they, th they think it's cheating, but it's really, it's not cheating. You know, well, from a kind of point, it's kind of cheating. But you got to look at it, you know, it's just camo, you know, it's not going to do anything to any other players, you know. Oh, wow, I have a red tiger camo, so basically my, you know, my gun looks extremely or better than yours. Honestly, you guys, you got to be honest with that, you know. Like, there's two different things with hacking and boosting, you know. The arguable sense is that bo boosting is kind of like hack hacking. But the thing is, with hacking, it hurts people, you know. You jump into a pop, uh, public lobby now in COD 4, and you look up in the sky, there's usually three people up there sniping you, you know. And it's kind of impossible to kill them, because they usually have God mode on, and, you know, it's difficult to kill them, you know. That's, you know, that's hurting people, you know. That's hurting them, because they can't have a uh, decent game, a clean game, you know, without jumping in and getting, you know, butt-fucked by, you know, people in the air. But... I could see the sense how this is hurting people. Free for all, free for all nuke boosters. That I absolutely hate. That's why I do not play free for all because I know there are going to be boosters. You know, they're you know um, getting headshots and trying to kill, call in tactical nukes. Yes, I know that that is bad. But the thing is, when Infinity Ward and and especially in COD 4, you could boost in COD 4. I don't know why people say that. Oh, you can't boost in COD 4. I boosted in COD 4. It's called TDM on cage match, right? Jump into a game of TDM. You you know. Let your buddy know that, you know, you're joining in the game. Let him join the game. And you guys just take turns headshotting each other, you know. That's boosting. And honestly, it doesn't hurt each other. It doesn't hurt nobody, right? Oh, yeah. And for the kill streaks, real quick. Because this happened. This was kind of stupid. They got to try to fix something, you know. Like, when I joined this game, right, um, I, w I was playing, before playing some Search and Destroy, right? I had 3, 4, 5. And then when I tried to change it to put it 5, um, 7, 9, Five, um, five predator, um, seven harrier, and nine pavlo. What happened is when you join the game and you join the game kind of late, it takes out your nine. So they gotta try to kind of fix that. I don't know with Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, let's get back into boosting. You know, fuck the kill streaks. You know, I can go in game without kill streaks and win. Um, so yeah, so I can see in the sense that boosting is kind of bad in free for all. 
But honestly, when you create game types that, you know, influence boosting and, you know, let you boost, there's really no problem. All you have to do is join that game and, you know, boost, you know. So it's really, it's not hurting no one. I'm really getting tired of hearing all the people, you know, complain about, oh, boosting this, I hate boosters. There's nothing wrong with it, you guys. All you got to do is just, you know, if you want to, you know, jumping into a free-for-all, you know, there, there are some people out there who just strictly play free-for-all. And the fact that free-for-all, you know, boosters, they, you know, destroy the, the free-for-all experience, that I can understand. But when they make game types like Bare Bones Pro and allowing you to boost, it's really, really, really not, you know, that big of an issue, you know. So, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if they're bringing back the COD point system that they had in Black Ops back into Modern Warfare 3. I really hope they do. I, I love COD points, you know, I love wager matches. Wager matches, those are fun and they're, they're cool. So I hope they bring that back. So, but if they do bring a, back COD points, you know, there's really no need for boosting anymore. Like, honestly, like, if you go into a free-for-all in Black Ops and try to boost, come on, you guys. Really? Like, there's no such thing as um, um, boosting in free-for-all because, you know, there's no, um, there's no reason why to even, you know, try to unlock stuff. What, you're just going to unlock challenges? You know, all what all all game, you know, that's that's pretty stupid, you know. So that's kind of stupid. I guess that's my two cents on it, you know, you, what you guys. So yeah, you know, like honestly, like it just popped into my head like people they just absolutely hate boosters. But when they invent game modes to, you know, for boosting, there's no need to hate no more. And, you know, boosting for headshots, that's really nothing. What? What you're you're getting, you know, beautiful camels that look kind of cool. You know, that, that's stupid, you know. I don't know why people hate on that, you know. Like, it's a game, first of all. So, that's one thing you should be, um, you know, you know, worrying about. Oh, I have something pretty on on a gun, you know. Yeah, yeah, but we all complain about the games, you know. We all bitch and moan about games. And also, right here, you guys, I'm going to cut this screen out right. Hell up, right. Wait, one. No. Oh, wait, I didn't cut it. Oh, I guess I left that part, but I'm going to cut it until a little while. But I'm probably going to cut it while editing. Oh, no, wait. Oh, my God. I'm fucking stupid. I probably just fucked up this whole commentary.